Hi Aquarius, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to be getting you some messages. Um, be first, before I do that, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through the nose and out through the mouth. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. I'm going to pull you some angel numbers first, but why I do that, I'm going to tell you my ring light is acting up and it keeps going out. So if it does that in the middle of the video, I apologize ahead of time and we'll deal with the darkness. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's acting up the last two days. Eight, three, one, five is your angel number. Eight. Three, one, five. I just wrote that down. I will uh, post the meaning in the comments after I post the video. All right, let's get you some cards. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Well, that was fast. Let's see what else we get. All right, here we go. Four swords. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Wow, lots of swords here. All right, let's see. What is this? Uh, you're needing a timeout. You are needing a break. <sighs> yeah, you, I'm feeling you're just mentally exhausted here. Something's got you. Something's got you going here. You just need a break. And it's probably because there's my seven of swords. This is my liar, my cheater, my thief. So somebody tried, so somebody either lied to you, tried to cheat you, tried to manipulate you. Somebody was trying to be sneaky with you. But you're the queen of swords. You're not, you're seeing through it. You're not going to let that person take advantage of you. You you can see clearly. You know what's happening. You know what's happening. Ace of Pentacles here, which means it's new money. So new job, new client, new business, new money coming in. Somehow, some way, money's coming in for you. Money that you might not have expected or just, I don't know. Just some new money coming in. And I think that Knight of Swords is saying that either... You're going to make somebody an offer or somebody's going to make you an offer in regards to this money. I feel like there's an offer on the table and I don't, I'm not quite sure if it's from you or from them. Yeah. All right. Let's get some more cards. Let's see where this is going. All right, you got the chariot, six of wands, eight of swords, five of cups. All right, so yeah, you are feeling some, you're grieving a loss, whatever this loss is. Maybe it's something that has to do with this guy. I say guy, but I, that, I mean person, right? There's no gender on my cards. So whoever stabbed you in the back or, or whoever was being sneaky, just not right, you're feeling a loss from it. But what you don't see is that you have something bigger and better coming to you. So that loss is not going to be as big of a deal as you're making it. You're making it much worse than it is. This is trapped in fear. This is you in your own head. And it's not as bad as you think it is. It's not. You're, you have, in normal, in the normal tarot, you would see a knight crying over three spilled cups, right? But there was two filled cups behind him. And those two cups lead to the bridge that leads to the castle. So if he would just turn around and see those two cups, he could take those two cups, walk over the bridge to the, and own the castle, right? So there's something much better for for you you're just not seeing it yet because you're worried you're looking at whatever this person did you're dwelling on it so stop stop grieving over it i i know that's easy for me to say but get over it 
because you're making it a lot worse than it is. You have two cards of victory here. The chariot is a victory. This is a fast moving victory. So something's coming in pretty fast and this night is pretty fast too. So I feel like there's a huge victory with money coming in for you. You're going to have a success. This is public recognition of a success. This is the recognition that you deserve. This is the attention that you've been seeking. You're going to get it. So stop worrying about this. It's not as bad as I, th I think you think it is. It's not. But I do feel like you are just emotionally drained. I do feel like you need a little bit of a timeout. All right, let's see what else we get. Attachment. Yeah, you're, you are, you're attached to this loss, whatever this is, whatever that person took from you or did to you, you're attached to it. You're holding on to it. You're being chained. Look, she's got chains on her hands, right? Let go, break the chains, free yourself. It's not that bad. Move on from it. You're getting a victory and success, which is going to be so much better than what that person took from you. Don't worry about it, okay? Let go of any negative resentment. Let go of any negative attachment. Let's just let it go, right? Take your time out, that four swords up there. Take the time out that you need to figure out how to let it go, right? Breathe, meditate, just help. You know, ask God what you can do to get over it. And I guarantee you, they'll give you some kind of a, he'll give you some kind of a distraction. And it's probably this new money coming in. That's probably going to be your distraction. You're going to be so um, distracted by making money and, and new ideas coming from that and this offer, whatever it is that you're going to, you're going to be able to let this go. I see that happening. Children. Your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. All right. I feel like this has to do with your child. For those of you who have children, I think you came into this life to either learn a lesson with kids, with your children, or to teach your children a lesson, to help them, guide them on their path. And I'm feeling male energy here. I'm feeling like for those of you who have a son, I feel like it has something to do with a son. I don't know why, because she's wearing pink. So you would think that I would think female, but no, I'm thinking male. I think that there's a, some kind of connection that you have to a younger male whether it's your child's or somebody else's child, that there's some kind of tie here. There's some kind of bond. There's some kind of, you know, psychic cord that you have and you're here to help and teach them. I don't know. That's not normally what I get with this card. So where that came from, I'm not quite sure, but spirit gave it to me. So I gave it to you. <laughs> Take it for what it's worth and for whoever resonates with it and whoever doesn't resonate it, just maybe you're a teacher and that's your life's purpose to help teach kids. It could be anything, but wow, I got something specific for some, some of you. Tower. Unplug and relax for a spell. So... Again, in this deck, that's just, that's a timeout. That's another Four Swords card. It's time for you to take a step back. Spend some quality time with yourself. You know, you're your own best friend, right? So, I don't know. Look up some yoga videos on YouTube or, <laughs> you know, try a guided meditation or, you know, read a book. Take, take a nature walk. You know, go someplace you have never been before. You know, just take some needed time to recharge. 
I think that we pay our greatest respect to ourselves when we do that. I feel like you can't be there for others if you're not there for yourself. So I knew I felt mentally exhausted when that Four Swords came out. So I really feel like this is it, it again. This is another Four Swords card saying you really need to take some time. You really need to do something for you. Stop worrying about other people, right? Maybe it's stop worrying about this child for a minute. Maybe you just got to, you know, do something for you. All right. Let's see what else we get. Emotions are running high. Yeah. Your emotions are running high. I feel like I you have this chaotic energy I've, I'm feeling. Like, I feel like there's, you have several worries. I think you have worries about that liar, cheater, thief up there. Something you, you lost. Something you're in your head about. You're worried about your kids or or something. I, you're holding on to resentment. You got a lot of chaotic energy here. You got to let it you got to let it go. You're going to break. I feel like you're, you're you might be at your breaking point. <sighs> Celebrate. Let go and have fun. Yeah, see, they're telling me that you're at your breaking point. You you need to have some fun. You need to do something. Reach out to a friend and say, "Please, Let's go have a drink or let's go grab dinner or let's, let's go do, you know, let's go line dancing. <laughs> I don't know why I see country line dancing, but I see country line dancing, but you need to do something fun. I think it's extremely important because I think you're about to blow. You're either about to blow or you're about to have a complete meltdown on somebody for yourself. It's time to take control of your life. Yeah. I told you I felt chaotic energy, right? You got to free yourself from any attachments. You got to free yourself from this self-imposed prison that you put yourself in. Take back control, okay? Do something for you. All right, let's get some... Uh, oh, there goes the ring light. I knew, I knew it. Ah. <sighs> I tried to get through the video without it going out, but news is on the way. So some kind of good news is coming to you. I feel it's good news. I don't feel like it's bad news. I feel like it's very good. However, you need to increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So this is what you have to do. This is my advice. You don't have to take it. <laughs> but my advice to you, Aquarius, is take your time out. Recharge. Get some of that energy back, right? And then start making some moves. Either make the offer you need to make or um, I don't know, there's money coming in. So like I kind of feel like you have to make an offer to somebody and I feel like it's going to be very, very successful. I feel like this is, is new money. I feel like it's good money. So recharge, do what you got to do and then start making some moves. That's my advice. Look, you got love here. The angels are sending you so much love right now. They love you. They're taking care of you. You are on the right path. You might not feel like it, but you are. You're definitely on the right path. Okay, look, you have a, oh, you have my puppy angel and the paw print. So you have an animal spirit on the other side who wants to come and visit you and wants to know that they're still around. They want you to know that they still follow you. They're still here and they still love you. So, you know, whatever the first animal that you think of that has crossed, that's probably the animal that's visiting you. They are, they are here. They're snuggling up to you at night. I see somebody curling up um, around your legs at night, loving you and sending you support. Wow, I'm tearing up from that. Look, you got the hummingbird. You are definitely receiving messages from heaven. That is somebody, they are definitely guiding you and supporting you. They want you to know that you feel love. They feel your kind of, your chaotic energy. They feel your overwhelmness and they're here for you. You might be getting messages through songs. Okay. So listen to the lyrics, 
whatever songs resonate with you, there's probably a message in it for you. Okay. You are going to be turning a new leaf. Okay. So I think that charge, that recharge that we're talking about, I think that's going to help you, you know, get your bearings back. You're going to turn a new leaf. You're going to be on the right path. Now you have December and a pumpkin here. So I think that something between um, now, because it's pumpkin season now, right? Between now and December, within November or December, there's something important happening. Maybe that's when this offer is happening. I don't know. Or maybe that's when the new money's coming in. But there is definitely something important November or December. Okay, I think it's going to like uh, be a stepping sto stone into something huge. I don't know. But that's all I have for you, Aquarius. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because um, that helps me so very much. And I'm so grateful and thankful. Thank you so much for that, for those who do that. And um, until next time. Love and light.